Hi, welcome to Pikai Pharmacy. So today we are going to learn about the chemical identification tests for alkaloids. And in this video, we will focus more on the chemical reactions and results only in order to make the video short, simple and informative. So at first, we will go for some common chemical tests for alkaloids and after that we will discuss about the specific tests. Okay, so now we will discuss four common chemical tests for alkaloids and in this the first test is Mayer test. Now in Mayer's test the reagent is potassium mercuric iodide and this reagent is also known as Velser's reagent. So now here you can see our sample which reacts with potassium mercuric iodide and after the reaction with potassium mercuric iodide it gives a cream colored precipitate and this cream colored precipitate indicates that it is a positive result that means our sample contains alkaloid after Mayer test here comes the Hagar test and the Hagar's reagent is saturated picric acid now here is our sample now when a sample reacts with saturated picric acid it, it is giving a yellow colored precipitate now this presence of the yellow colored precipitate indicate that it is a positive Hagar's test that means the sample contains alkaloid right now a third comes the Wagner test and here the reagent is iodine in potassium iodide solution so here you can see this is our sample now when it reacts with iodine in presence of potassium iodide solution then it is giving a reddish brown precipitate which indicates a positive Wagner test that means our sample is an alkaloid or it contains alkaloid then at fourth comes the Marmet test and the reagent for Marmet's test is potassium cadmium iodide shortly known as Marmet's reagent now here you can see our sample when our sample here reacts with the potassium cadmium iodide then it is giving a yellow color which indicates a positive Marmet's test that means our sample is an alkaloid or it contains alkaloid and at last there is drag and drop test where the reagent is potassium bismuth iodide which is also known as Kraut's reagent now here you can see our sample when it reacts with potassium bismuth iodide then it is giving a reddish brown precipitate which indicates a positive drag and drop test that means our sample is an alkaloid or either it contains alkaloid now we are done with the common chemical test of alkaloids so let's move on towards the specific tests now we know that under alkaloids there are different categories that is there are many types of alkaloids and that is why specific tests are done to identify the specific type of the alkaloid so at first we will go with the specific test of argot alkaloids and that is van Oak test and the main reagent for this test is paradimethylaminobenzaldehyde but when we will talk about the complete reagent then it is paradimethylaminobenzaldehyde dissolved in 100 ml 60% sulfuric acid with 0.1 ml of 5% FeCl3 that is ferric chloride solution now here in this reaction you can see when our sample reacts with paradimethylaminobenzaldehyde in presence of H2SO4 and FeCl3 or else together we can call it as Van Oak's reagent so when it reacts with this reagent it gives a blue color which is a which is an indication of positive result for Van Oak's test that means our sample contains argot alkaloid after argots then comes the purine alkaloids or you can also say it as xanthine alkaloids and the specific test for purine alkaloid is muroxide test so here as an example you can see the chemical reaction of muroxide test so here when our sample reacts with potassium chloride and hydrochloric acid in presence of heat and ammonia you can see there is a formation of purple color and this purple color indicates a positive muroxide test that means our sample contains purine alkaloids alkaloids like caffeine theobromine theophylline right now in third comes the vitalimorin test which is done for the identification of tropane alkaloids so in this test at first 
some drops of sulfuric acid is added to the small amount of our sample. Then, after it evaporates, we will get a dry residue. Now, dissolve the residue in acetone and add methanolic potassium hydroxide. Now, if our sample shows bright purple or violet color, then that means it is a positive vitalimorin test. And from that, we can conclude that our sample contains tropin alkaloid. Now, after the vitalimorin test, here comes the meconic acid test. And this meconic acid test is done for the identification of opium alkaloids. And in this, the reagents are pretty simple. That is, 5% aqueous solution of ferric chloride and dilute hydrochloric acid. So here you can see the chemical reaction of meconic acid test. Where you can see our sample reacts with ferric chloride and dilute hydrochloric acid. And after the reaction, it is giving a reddish purple color. So this reddish purple color indicates a positive test, that means our sample contains opium alkaloids. Then for synchrona alkaloids or we can also say quinoline alkaloids, we do thaloquine test and the reagent for thaloquine test is bromine water and dilute ammonia. So here you can see when our sample reacts with thaloquine reagent, then it gives a emerald green color. That means it is a positive thaloquine test. Now, at last we will look at some alkaloidal color reagents. So basically this test is done or applied on a white colored porcelain slab or in a porcelain dish. And most of the color reagents are very sensitive as if like 1 microgram of alkaloids can also be detected. So it is that much sensitive. However, these color reagents are not that much specific for identification purposes of different alkaloids. And also these tests are usually applied to solid alkaloids. But why? So why only solid alkaloids? Now I will not tell the answer. You have to guess the answer behind this. And down in the pinned comment you will find the correct answer. But first you should try by yourself. And after that you can see if your answer is correct or not. Now let's move on to the color reagents. So at first we have Freud's reagent, which is a mixture of ammonium molybdate and concentrated sulfuric acid, together called sulfamolybdic acid. And then comes the Mandelin's reagent, which is a mixture of ammonium vanadate and concentrated sulfuric acid, together called sulfovanadic acid. And at third here is Marquis's reagent which is a mixture of formaldehyde and concentrated sulfuric acid. And at last, there is Ardman's reagent, which is a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. So now the colors formed by or with these colored reagents are characteristic and can be used for colorimetric assay. And also I want to add another color reagent that is modified Dragendorf reagent which is a spray reagent for chromatography and here its composition you can see and it gives a orange color with alkaloids. So this was all about the chemical test of alkaloids in a very comprehensive format. So I hope you like this video and for more pharmacy related content and information please follow my facebook page and subscribe to this channel. So now it's my time to go. Hope to see you in a new video. Till then, stay healthy. Bye. I get out the park like baseball, moving too fast, can't see me like Ray Charles. They wonder why I never take a day off. I be on my ground until I know my face.